what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel today i am doing a special video a special video to reveal the new iphone 12 pro max 256 gigabyte for those of you who are new to this channel please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel as well because there's gonna be a lot of videos coming very soon and we're starting to do you know some video in english and um you know i hope you guys are gonna enjoy that's for my english audience so today this is what i'm gonna be revealing to you we're gonna be opening this package together this is the new iphone 12 and um follow me we're pretty much gonna go through step by step and also we're gonna do some shots and compare it to the older version like the alpha iphone 10 and iphone 11 okay so for those of you who are new please make sure you stick around and let's go Alright, so guys, this is it right here. So we're pretty much gonna go through it uh together. Uh I hope I didn't show my address, but who cares? So let's start uh to impact. Well, what am I gonna do with the box anyway? So let me just take this thing out. Uh Giving me a little bit of a hard time, but we're gonna get through it. So let's go step by step. There we go. We're finally there. There we go. There we go. This is the bad boy right here. Apple always makes sure they design it the nicest way possible. They package it extremely well. And uh, yeah. So. There you go, guys. Let's put this in the back. Excellent. Crystal. Crystal clear. There you go. Okay. So let's keep going. Let's take this out. Take that out. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. Wow. 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 Apple. Wow, incredible. The design, the attention to detail is crazy on this shit. The attention to detail is just impeccable. So, let's start. How do you turn this shit on? I guess it's pretty much like a uh, all the other models. Let's press this and see what's gonna happen. Uh oh. Does it need to be charged first or what? There you go. There you go. There you go. That's the bad boy right there. Bonjour. Ching ching chang chong chow. Ni hao. 
That's Japanese. Jemanjum. Uh oh. What happened there? Uh oh. I wonder what's happening now. Oh. Swipe up to open. Okay. So we're going to kind of like go through it together. So now we're going to select English. Country is the United States. Quick start. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. Okay, I think that's not a bad idea. So let's leave this right here. <coughs> so, let me bring my uh, current iPhone next to this one. So as you know, my current iPhone was actually a 10. So let's see what's going to happen. Continue. They automatically connect, man. God damn, bro. Automatically connect, like. Enter the passcode. Now, I gotta do this privately. Okay, just did it. Like, look at the difference in sizes. Like, the 10 is so small compared to the 12. I mean, when you put them like next to each other, they kind of look really small. Uh-oh, face ID. Okay guys, so now we are still going through the setup process and right now we are at the uh, face ID. Okay, so right now it's asking for the face ID. So we're pretty much gonna go through it, but you know, obviously it's gonna be my face. Uh, continue, get started. Now it's gathering my face. Jeff, uh, what's his name again? Tim Cook is gathering all my facial information so that they're going to use it for their. How do they call it again? They're going to use it to gather all our information into a system. When they're going to bring their new world order shit in place so they will have all our faces already in the system so that's going to make things a lot easier for them so let's continue transfer your data you can directly transfer your data your data during setup or finish downloaded later transfer from iphone download from my cloud uh, time to transfer 20 to 25 minutes you can start using your iPhone in about 15 minutes, your data will download later over Wi Fi. Mm, what do I want to do? No, I want to download from the iCloud. I don't have time to do this right now. Okay, now we're going to all the agreement and shit. I agree. Now it's um, setting up. Pretty much just spinning, guys. Nothing really serious. No, this one. Uh, update backup before restoring. Restore your apps and data. It was last backed up on November 19 and 9.50. Would you like to back up? Choose other backup as well as go. Update backup. I don't know what to choose from here. They're pretty much asking me how I want to back off my data from this other phone. So I really don't know how to do it, but I guess I'll just choose 
restore I'll do it back up before I restore one. I mean I'm just going for with whichever kind of like okay I front XL so now pretty much is backing up like this one is backing up so that some of the data is going to be transferred into this one and it's going to take me the whole day yeah it's kind of transferring the data from here to here so I'm not going to keep you all waiting so I'm just going to speed through this process and then I will see you at the next step when we're going to do some comparison okay see you guys all right guys welcome back to your video so here we're going to do like a side by side comparison i think you guys can see me i'm in the back here so this is the iphone 12 right here on the right and this is the 10 uh 10xr on the left so as you can see yourself you can see the differences in the images like the quality uh this one is actually extra crispy this one is a little bit like uh uh, it has like a funny way, but you know, that's pretty much the way it is. But if you kind of like try to change like the lighting, you lower this like half and you lower this one too, like half. Look at the difference. Like the 10 is like pretty dark, but um, this one, the 12 is still like very, very bright. And it kind of like improves the image. It, 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 it modifies a little bit of pixels and everything so and the settings mind you the setting are still the same so this one is still in hd 30 frame per second this one hd 30 frame per second i haven't done the main settings yet i'm not changed anything this is still like with a setting from this iphone so this one has the ability to shoot like in 4 4k with a front camera but i haven't changed anything this is still with the old settings i had from my previous phone so when i actually get into those settings this one is actually going to be way higher than this one so this is kind of like to show you a little bit a preview so now let me jump into the phone and actually record from the phone directly so i'm going to stop this one right now okay this is actually one of the best settings of this this phone like the iphone 12. look at this if you actually zoom in you see at the top right there the different setting the iphone 12 can shoot in 4k with the front camera so all you need to do is just to come up here and tap the hd sign boom that's 4k right there but if you look at the iphone 10 if you tap on the hd it's gonna go down to 720p if you click on it again boom it's gonna go to hd that's the max it can go to but this one the iphone 12 you can go from HD, just regular HD, boom, you get to 4K, 30 frames per second. Like that's just with the front camera. Just, just to show you how powerful this shit is. So let's go into the phone right now. Okay. All right. So right now we are in the two phones. On my right is the 12 Pro Max. On my left is the iPhone XR. Uh, 10 XR so I don't know how it's gonna be on the other end, but you know, I'm facing the camera So the uh, 12 is on my right the X is on my left. Look at the differences y'all look at the difference I mean, the, you know in the quality of the images. Let me just walk around the house a little bit You see how the XR is like the, the 12 Takes the images and improves it a little more but the XR kind of let the images just remain still the same way it is but the 12 actually improves the lighting all that is is just pretty much better it does those adjustments pretty much by themselves without you having to do anything so depending on where you position yourself the 12 still have that little edge where it gives you a little bit you know it improves the images by itself without you having to do anything uh, let me just walk outside a little bit. I know it's extremely cold. Let's see how it's going to react with all this sun. Let's see how it's going to react. The 10 is pretty much, you know, the same. The XR in 4K specifically, it kind of like take the thing a little bit to a certain level. So that's, you know, side by side comparison. It's too sunny out here. It's not too cold. But let's just go back in. That's when you see the 12 is kind of like 
a little bit enhanced uh, just to say the least so that was a side by side comparison of the two and um, I'm just going to move forward and shoot some other things so I can show the differences. Let's take some pictures and see how it's going to be. Okay, I'm just going to start to stop both images at the same time. All right, guys, because this phone doesn't have a screen protector, it doesn't have a case on it. I really don't want to take the risk because I want to go outside and do some shot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply put it back in the box and we're going to go to the store together to try to purchase this thing. So let's go. I just arrived in New Jersey here. I'm coming to the Apple store to actually get um, like a case and a screen protector and all those stuff I spoke to you about earlier. So... It's this is where I am. As you can see, I'm watching or listening to Gary V right now. Allowed me to big guy, big marketing guy, content creating guy. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit so you guys can hear me. So I'm pretty much here already. I'm just going to try to park this car somewhere. Where is... Um, uh, I think I go through H&M. I'm going to order your screen protector from the back and they'll be able to take care of everything today, okay? Alright, no And our screen protector is about like $40. Is that cool? $40. That's okay for now. Do you have the 12 Pro Max? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Are we going to be using our Apple card today or are we just going to be using regular regular tender? Regular tender. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Sign it through your account at the top. Sign it. And you got to sign it through Apple ID and password. I don't know what it is. If that's what you're using, hey guys i am pretty much back from the store i had to run to the apple store to get some gears and some um, a few other things so i was able to get the case for the phone and also the screen protector so now i'm filming on my canon phone right now and you can see right there i am filming with the two phones so i have the uh, iPhone 12 on one side and I have the iPhone XR as you can see I'm guess what both phones are actually Filming on HD. I'm using the rear camera and they are just on HD for now. I can put the 12 On 4k, but you know 4k takes a lot of space. So I don't want to do that right now So I'm pretty much using the HD right now, but you will still be able to see the main differences between the two phones so let's take a look i'm gonna move from here to there and you'll be able to see the the main difference once i do that let's jump to into it all right guys as you can see i was actually filming on slow motion on the xr and uh, the 12 was, was pretty regular so i'm using the front camera right now you can see the main difference uh it's pretty obvious pretty clear pretty easy to make your decision so for those of you who are thinking about purchasing this phone I will definitely say that you are going to get a lot of improvement, a lot of quality in the quality of the image uh, you want and also the speed also is going to be incredible. So for those of you who want to buy it, I highly recommend you to go and make sure you get the correct, the original one because you know the Chinese version is always available out there according to how much money you actually want to pay for it. So that's going to be it. For this video today so for those of you who haven't subscribed to this channel yet make sure you go ahead and subscribe click on the like button because it's gonna be really really key for this video it's gonna show a lot of appreciation to what I'm doing and time I'm investing in these videos and also it's gonna boost the algorithm algorithm 
of YouTube and also make sure you share this video with a friend of yours someone that you know share my video with someone that you know and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be coming very soon with a lot of videos like this and I want you to be part of the journey thank you guys for watching this video and I'm gonna be seeing you very soon in a new video take care bye bye